Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. Every adult has information that is private. Every adult has the right to decide what they publicize from that confidential or proprietary information that may govern or lead their lifestyles. We talk about lifestyles in terms of lifestyles of the rich and famous with, I can't remember the British guy's name. We talk about lifestyles when we're talking about people who might not be of the same values as you choose. We talk about lifestyles when we're talking about all sorts of things, but there are some conditions that are medical that are noted as medical in most people's understanding of them, but some people refer to them as lifestyle choices. I have to tell you that that is an insult to people. What we know about the world and the spectrum of people across the world and the information that is anthropog anthropologically sound is that all types of people and all types of races and all types of sexual preferences have existed through the millennium. So when we have religious right people trying to bash people immorally and inconceivably about their alleged sexual choices, I have to tell you, I find it offensive. You see, we have the right to privacy of our loins, and the right to privacy of our loins includes our sexual prowess and our sexual partners. What I mean by sexual prowess is what our packages look like. No fucking person can complain to God about someone else's sexual package. There have definitely been documentaries on television, HBO, and even Frontline News talking about the size of a man's package. One fella in particular we could talk about because he publicized it is apparently 12 inches in length. Now that alone as a priest and as a pastor speaking aloud about is offensive to me. But what I'm telling you is that when there are other people who are in the other spectrum, on the other side, with a smaller package, it's nobody's fucking business, you see. We have taken something that is very private and very sacred and made it public in an immoral way. Particularly, pastors of Christian rights do this every day. They interfere with people's sexuality. They interfere with people's love lives. They interfere with trying to play matchmaker. And let me tell you, none of you are good at that. Most of you can't do it, and most of you fail people completely trying to tell people who to be with, who to marry, and what to stay with, and you fuck yourself doing that in front of God. Now, I'm going to be a little bit foul because I really want you to get this. Most people do not enjoy watching porn in public. Most people do not sit in groups watching porn unless perhaps it's a bachelor party. And we've known about this from film and stories most of our lives. Most people are familiar from our studies in college about the history of that industry. Not everyone watched the uh, film with Woody Harrelson on Larry Flint. But what I can say to you is we do not have to be hell-bent about something that is private. And politicians should not be publicizing that which is private. The immoralness of a state like Indiana that thinks they have the right to publicize people's genitalia in different ways is immoral. And what I'm saying to you is the size of someone's package, the type of someone's package, is no one's motherfucking business today. Now I can be illegal in my voice, I can be immoral in my thoughts, but I don't have the right to strip off someone's clothes without their consent, without their permission to look at their package today. And the immoralness of little faggots who work in technology stores is that they think they have the right to publicize anything on your life today. The illegalness of social media companies of pretending they have rights to modify and monitor someone's online profile and change their programming without telling people what's going on is immoral and illegal today.
Social media companies utilize a telephone network to be seen by people today. Telecommunications laws cover the Privacy of Information Act, and we got that from the Nixon Watergate days. If you don't understand an old-time journalist like me, then think back to Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney asked a lot of questions. John Quinones asked a lot of questions. Good journalists ask questions today. But the choice to believe in things, the choice to do things, and the choice to talk about things are somewhat your choice. But when it comes to someone else's medical records, when it comes to someone else's private body, when it comes to someone else's computer contents, when it comes to someone else's intellectual property, when it comes to someone else's ideology about their fucking little faggot life, that's their right. But the next child who thinks they have the right to hack a computer will end up in jail today.